say he wanted. He didn't say anything. I think he could just choose not to watch this recording until he's ready to play the game, or he's already played it, or he has no intention of playing it, or he doesn't care. I think either way. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. To the fact, Estes. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. crime has been committed. Huh? Okay. Do you get to talk to those people on the right? I mean, obviously you want to talk to the last person. But do you get to talk to these people? On the left here? Or? Like, just anyone. Who, who's that? Don't but dilly dally, Poirot. Jap will be waiting for us. Oh, okay. Just look. Well, can you look at the cat sign? Are you allowed to like look around? But I see cats right up there. Are you sure that's the same cat? I don't know. Can you read the sign? Is it allowing you to read the sign? No. I'm Wait. not supposed to look at everything. Could be no, we are. The, the cat, I think, is integral to this mystery. Yeah. This is like the beautiful mind version of Pyro that gets, like, <laughs> hung up on all the noise. <laughs> Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past ten. Luckily, the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. How the hell would I know? Oh. Huh? What am I doing? Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Uh, am I on a timer? Alright, Karen, help me out here. He's holding his pocket screen. Oh, okay. Hat proudly. Indeed, Poro. We were used to seeing you judge people with more discretion. Oh, okay. Blew it. Oh, he's... Okay, a slight... Jab is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. I would have thought the five o'clock shadow would be relaxed. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around eleven in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Mrs. Asher? In her fifties. Married, but separated. No children. A husband? Aha, uh -huh. Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. So, in real life, that's who... 
A little too easy, don't you think? You like complications, don't you? Well, this time you may be disappointed. Peut-être. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Pyro. Do you know where Pyro's from, Karen? Yeah, that's right. No, he's Belgian. Oh. A common mistake. This fruit and vegetable shop has a front row seat, for an employee might have noticed something. Does it come up to be a thingy? Yeah. There's one pixel you have to put your mouse on in order to get it to change. Yeah. What game was that? There was a game like that. It was every LucasArts adventure game. Oh yeah, like Monkey Island basically. Let's be systematic here. The place is unusually tidy for a crime scene. Newspapers. Mm, the thing is... So it zooms in, I think, when you... Bye. It's clean. Nothing suggests any sign of a fight. Why do you think the body was over in this corner? Mm -hmm. Mm Say? Objects hide secrets behind complex mechanisms. It's easy to decipher them when they find out they're hiding. You got it? The instructions? Yeah? Mm -hmm. The teal does not appear to have been touched. I have to check that nothing is missing from it. Something is preventing the drawer from opening. Alright, flip it over. has just made a fan click. So you've got the second digit now, it's five. Look on the back of it. Oh, maybe inside it? is full of money, but there is something exactly. strange. Yeah. Can you pocket it? Something is hidden underneath. Something is hidden underneath. Ah, uh, okay. Alright. Can you, uh... I 
we just have to enter the code in. Hmm. Eight pounds, fifty cents. How do you do two? <laughs> I don't know what this bottom row indicates. Wait, actually they're all pounds. So this must be the tens column, so maybe... Maybe two eights, um, wait no, 180... So this is like... Two, three... I four, need to find the code. I'm... No, I think it's eight... Eighty... I need to find the code. Can you open it upside down? No. Okay. I need to find the code. Maybe this is like ten times that number. I need to find the code. This must be the key to the back of the shop. Guess we were overthinking. Yeah, there's blood. Maybe it's just a jelly donut. It's weird, right? Red liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? No, it's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. Well, he's better than the Kenneth Brown. It's not part. just any railway guide, it's an ABC. It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. How do you know? What? Can we go back to it? That was it. It's not just any No, it won't. It's just a couple of A letter cities. So this person is just killing people in the book? Seemingly. What is what is this woman's name? A? Oh, there's a third clue in here. What is this woman's name? It starts with an A, right? So the next person she, he's gonna kill it starts with a B. And we'll live in a B city, probably. Oh, because we're in Andover. Mm-hmm. The counter is covered with fingerprints all on top of one another. Unfortunately, it will not be possible to use them. Did he... were fingerprints a thing when he was supposed to him that his character was around? Oh wait, I said a question. Go to this little question book. All right, I guess let's keep looking for clues first. There are cigarette packets in a mess on the shelf. There are cigarette packets in a mess on the shelf. There are cigarette packets in a mess on the shelf. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even-shaped pool of blood. Mm. She has a packet of play cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? 
The body is hidden by the counter and is not visible from the tobacco shop store. Many customers might have thought that Mrs. Asher had popped out. What would you want? Can you check her hand for nicotine stain to see if these are actually her cigarettes? This poor woman's head is resting in a very even-shaped pool of blood. I can't see any other mark on the floor. This poor woman. Oh, look at her foot. Mm, wherever you get, see the eyeglass. Mm, the body. Anything with her earring, maybe? I tried, I think it's some part of her head. She just has one wound on the back <laughs> of the head. Oh, no, I guess that there are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. So, Poirot, any news? So, an ABC guide with no fingerprints, but prints all over the counter. Normally, the tobacco shop does not sell ABC guides. Exact. Mon ami, could you have a word with the neighbors? Some may have seen something. Of course, my friend, I'll do it straight away. Is that why he speaks French? Because Belgium is like a country that has multiple languages? Yeah. The door is locked. We have a key. How do we use it? Do you want to do the other stuff while we're in there? Mrs. Asher was killed here. The absence of marks in the shop and the regular shape of the blood stains indicated beyond a doubt. Oh, like you didn't see her body being moved or dragged around. Well, no, it wasn't. Yes. Yeah. Do you need any more? I need two. The motive is definitely not financial gain. There is no sign of a struggle and the till has not been forced or emptied. Do the last one and the first one. The murderer deliberately left behind this ABC as a signature. The absence of fingerprints and the fact that it is open at letter A for Endover leaves little doubt. Okay. Yeah, we finished that. The door is locked. Can you drag it over? It's 
It's like we're both relearning how to play one of these games. Maybe she wasn't killed. Blood. Blood on her napkin. Did Alice Asher suffer from nosebleeds? An inscription in German. Souvenir of our honeymoon in the Black Forest. To my Alice forever, Franz Asher. The Ashes were a lovely couple when they were young. If they were separated, why would she keep that next to her bed? She doesn't have it next to her bed, it's upside down. Okay, but why would you even have Wait, it? Did we do all three things? I think we got enough. We get eagle points for it, though. Can you get more than that? Or? Yeah, that's what I have. Ooh, puzzle box. I love that all these victims seem to have puzzle boxes. Such a pretty decoration should be at the center of the motif to respect the I think this, he's saying, has to end up at the center. No, he says the pattern will also be symmetrical. Mm, no, that's not what he's saying. That's why I wanted to know if I could move this and then move them as it's in play, or if it has to be in position. Oh, you can move it. That's what I was trying to figure out initially. Thank you. 
So the only way you can get it in is either from here or there. So I have to keep moving it along. This one? Mm -hmm. the, move the flower to the outer room. Yeah, to do that I have to move this guy. Kind of. So, you, oh, you want to be able to move these around? Yeah, just move the middle one. Alright, so if this one... Try that one and just see which one would match it to that one. That guy, if I can get him there. Okay, what else? Or this one. Okay, what else? I like this one. Yeah, but then you need to be over here somehow. So there's the only two, right? The three? That one won't work. I mean, it would work if you were here on a segment, a different segment. I really think you're going to be able to move the flower from the out to the in, not moving the segments back and forth. Oh, you think there's just one path that you make that mm -hmm. connects everything together? It doesn't lead to the hole. Why would you even choose that one? Well, go back. That one. Stop. What are it, you doing? It doesn't line up on there. It doesn't matter. I want you to choose that middle one. Stop. And then move this one around. To see what are your options. So you have this one as an option. is an option. So you only have two options with this one. This or that. Because the, 
this is where it is, right up here. So we need to get something that goes like that. Sound as if something was unlocked. These drawings appear to be attached to the chest of drawers. They won't move. See how it's scored around the edges? I think I think you have to get them in the right orientation that matches. See this one? These are the same birds that are on the top here. So this one is pointing with its feet to the left. Changing the one to the right a little bit more because you're a little over on the shot. Medicine. Laudanum based cough medicine, Mrs. Asher. And Dover Morley Laboratory, London. It's strange to find such an elaborate medicine from a leading London laboratory in the home of such a modest woman. From Mr. Adam Flint, Royal Bank, Eastfield Road, and Dover to Mrs. Alice Asher, 5 Bishops Road, Andover. Dear Mrs. Asher, further to your request of 12 February 1935, I have informed my superiors of your wish to apply for a loan to acquire the lease of the shop you rent from Mr. Fairfax. Despite the seriousness of your case, I regret to inform you that your request has been denied. The amount of your personal contribution 11 pounds is not high enough and represents too small a part of the final transaction. I remain at your disposal for any questions. Adam Flint. 
Mrs. Asher's meager savings were not enough for her to own the tobacco shop, but will largely cover her funeral costs. In case you were worried. 1935, huh? I thought this was set... I guess not, but like... Why is the frame crooked? I don't know, but it's not bothering him. He seems fine with it. Okay, what about the table? What a strange box. It looks like you have to slide the slats of wood to open it. <laughs> she loves puzzle boxes. Okay, so we have the This button appears to activate the mechanism. Should do it. Who is this young woman? To my dear Aunt Alice, married Hauer. Anything? The victim has a niece. We must find her. I think I've looked everywhere here. Let us see if I can find any more information in the shop's surroundings. This interior is very simple. Mrs. Asher lived very simply. <laughs> what? You get ego, cho ego points for checking yourself out in the mirror. No, you got ego points for doing solving the observation. Uh, I don't think so. I think it was... No. It you saw three observations, you got three ego points. Appears to be a smoker. Fingers. Shh. 
she's a big smoker. She must have been a customer at the tobacco shop. Your strawberries appear to be rather soft. Soft? The cheek of it! What are you trying to say? Did you know Alice Asher well? And for starters, who are you? I'm Hercule Poirot, the detective. Tch, you're foreign, that's for sure, with your accent and your odd way about you. And you're here about Alice's murder, I suppose. Well, I've nothing to say to you. Did you speak to the victim yesterday? No, I never saw her. I do not quite understand. You work next door to each other, but you do not see each other? It's true! I didn't see her all day. I know that you went to the tobacco shop yesterday. Well? It is your duty to tell me if you saw something unusual. Who do you think you are telling me what to do? Get away from my stall! But we got the trophy. Poorly by accusing her strawberries of being. But I got a ton of ego points. He's got to be true to himself. Strawberries, right? six pence a pound. Hey, Warrow. Is the greengrocer causing trouble? I'll sort her out. No, please leave her, Chief Inspector. I'll get her to talk later. I found the victim's niece. She's waiting for you in the back of the shop. Thank you, mon ami. I'll question her. Can you go into the vegetable store? There's a lot of mice in this area. Oh, there's a new question of Velvet. Yeah. Back of her head, she was turned feet. around. Yeah. So someone ordered. The murderer probably pretended to be a customer. He hit the shopkeeper from behind as she turned around to serve him. Can you put my cheese away too? 
Got it? I think people didn't murder back then. There were girl murderers back then. Jap had the body removed out of respect for the victim's niece. His attention is commendable. Are we, after we finish talking to her, I want to go to bed. Okay. Do we have any more questions, though? What do you mean? Oh, like internal questions? Is our grief sincere? She's wearing black. She appears to be very upset. She's dressed in mourning. She looks for Jail. Maybe she's like a maid and that's what her uniform is. Yes, you're right. You did get ego points for checking yourself out in the mirror. Ask her about her. Don't anger people, please. You are very fond of your own, am I right? She was the only family I had since my mother died. That's the Brian had children. Your aunt did not have any children, is that correct? No. She was separated from her husband. What do you think about Franz Asher, your aunt's husband? He never left her alone. Poor aunt. She used to drop by all the time and make a scene. Which one? Left. <coughs> Was your aunt afraid of her husband? He shouted a lot, but she wasn't afraid of him. Why, he used to slink away when she turned on him. He was afraid of her, if you like. Did your aunt enjoy good airs? She had a bad throat, but she was well cared for by a doctor in London. Does Franz Asher work? All he's done for years is drink and gamble, but he used to be a very good cabinet maker. Where does he live on? My aunt used to give him five shillings a week. Why did she support such a good for nothing? He was her husband. She couldn't leave him with nothing. I understand. You have been of great assistance, mademoiselle.
please take this young lady home. My pleasure. Well, this Franz Asher does not seem to be quite so dangerous as Jeff said. And since Alice Asher gave him money regularly, it was not in his interest to kill her. Missing a clue, Karen. Uh, I, I wonder if it's it, from the... The shop owner that you pissed off. Especially since she has like hardly anything underneath her. Yeah, we don't know so much about it. Alright, come on. What are your other questions? Is that it? All right. Seeing the one that has been. Alright, we'll go back and outside and see if you can talk to her and be nice to her this time. We have to wait for him to sleep it off. He's all yours, Poro. There are a few things I need to check. There must be some way of sobering him up. I wonder what his wife used to do. He must have scared the customers away. Drop something. It's Ali Sasha's notebook. Ah, that's interesting. It probably contains information about our possible debt. Bodley, the fruit seller has debt too. She will probably be more cooperative thanks to this piece of information. Mary Drower was telling the truth. Mrs. Asher regularly gave money to her alcoholic husband. A box of new stockings. Alright, go talk to the, uh, the person outside. They probably have smelling salt somewhere. Accuser of murder? Yeah. I am accusing you of the murder of Mrs. Asher. What? It wasn't me! According to the victim's account book, you owed her ten pounds for tobacco and magazines. That's a lie! She owed me one pound! I swear! Uh. Ask her for more information. Do we. Did it say in the book? Do you remember? Did it show like the amount and everything? I think it did. But just ask for more explanations. Now, please be so kind as to explain this. Look at my account book. Alice owed me eleven pounds for fruit and vegetables. I may have had a slate at her shop, but she had one at mine. She owed me one pound, and that reminds me, I have to get it back from her niece. That is quite enough. Your account book has saved you. But I might ask Chief Inspector Chap to throw you in the cells for one or two nights while he checks your entries. Do you want to go to prison? Prison? Now that's not fair. I haven't done nothing. In that case, I am counting on your full collaboration. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Listen, I didn't kill Alice, I swear. But it's true that I did go to the shop yesterday. At what time? Six o'clock. She left me a note saying she wanted some strawberries if I got some. I received them late, about six. So I took them over to her. But you did not see her. 
She wasn't in the shop, so I just put the strawberries on the counter and left. If you put the strawberries on the counter. Look over the counter, she's dead. You'd have to look over and like down. Ask her, she's Did you see anything unusual in the shop? No. Well, maybe one thing. There was always a railway guide on the counter. Alice didn't sell them. Maybe it's the customer who left it there. You were not allowed? I thought Alice had just gone to get her medicine from her room and that she'd be straight back. You mentioned medicine. Something for her cough. She used to take it a lot. Who do you think killed her? France. Her scoundrel of her husband. He was always after her for something. Well, he's a foreigner. Uh, sorry, sir. What I mean is he's German. That's even worse. Did you see Franz Asher enter the tobacco shop late yesterday afternoon? Well, no. But at that time of the day, the streets are packed, and I have better things to do than watch her shop. So, when she dropped off the strawberries, she was dead. She just didn't see her behind the counter. So, she, he died. she died between 5.30 and 6.00. Itself because the killer, the ABC killer, is using the railway guide to choose victims potentially. Mm -hmm. So, what train arrives in Andover between you know 5:30 and 6 p.m. You know, coming from where? Mm -hmm. Then you could find out where the killer is coming from. Mm -hmm. See if they have spelling sense. I think you have to uh, make something. Douse them with water? Yeah. Okay. Let's Okay. Is it saved? How do I. 